If they haven't already, Dr. Sean Pruchnicki says investigators will be listening to the conversations air traffic control had with the pilot. He's a former airline pilot and used to investigate accidents. While he didn't know either of the people on the plane in Monday morning's crash, Dr. Sean Pruchnicki says his heart goes out to their families. It affects all of us, uh, e even though we may not certainly know these pilots on a personal level, we're all part of, you know, one large family, right? You know, we're all aviators. Dr. Pruchnicki is a professor at Ohio State University's Center for Aviation Studies. He's also a former airline pilot and accident investigator. The NTSB and the FAA both are going to go over this film time and time again. We watched surveillance video of the crash in Marietta. He says a couple things stand out. He says based on the glow on the plane and the trail of smoke behind it, it's clear the plane was on fire before it crashed. The other thing you notice is just, just the angle, how steep the aircraft is coming to the ground. This, this is not a controlled descent. This is an out of control aircraft. According to Dr. Perchnicki, those two factors will play a big role in the investigation, especially in its early stages. There's several reasons why an airplane, you know, might uh, do something like this. You know, all of those will have to be examined, right? Aircraft malfunction, pilot incapacitation. The fact that the aircraft is also on fire prior to impact can also lead down a certain path on why the airplane might have eventually became out of control. And Dr. Pruchnicki says there are many other aspects investigators will also be looking into. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.